Hi all, and we are back. Bar Barbus, stop that. I told you last time I would Fusro die your ass over the. You know what? That's it. Oh, you're lucky. You're so lucky, you damn freaking mutt. Yeah, it is. As I was saying, thank you all. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> Welcome to our Skyrim Let's Play Path of the Vampire. Oh, well, let's get to it, shall we? First of all, let me just get my this baby on here, this one on, and whoopsie daily. Uh. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's, it, it is a record high heat here in Denmark. Fucking hell. And I'm sitting here sweating my freaking ass off because I cannot... Uh, that's barbarous. I cannot um, turn on the fan. What the heck is that? Barbus? Shoo. I'm gonna turn off the fan because of the noise it makes. A spirit atronach. Hmm. Wonder if I can summon one of those up. Yeah. I got a huge fan beside me, but I can't turn it on because of the noise it makes. The only thing you would hear is like something all the time, and I didn't want uh, want that to happen. That's how you do it, guys. Good one on your barbers. Was that it? Okay, cool. Whoa, ho, 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 nice. Ooh. Small atlas. Bowl, bigger bowl. Barbus? Sweet row. Ooh, nice. Conjuration level 19. Sweet, thank you. Yoink. Gonna take it with us. Okay. And we yeah, we were in the chest. Okay, cool. Um I must admit that was a little bit um uneventful. Okay, cool. Fast travel back to where we Place off uh, the axe uh, and get Barbus back with his master and stuff like that. And I have something I really want to try. Ow. You guys remember the uh, mod I had where I could uh, create. Let me see Skyman right here. Create my own little household right down here. Yeah, my own house down here. I could uh, build it and stuff like that. Well, now that that uh, that that now that they have added, hmm. Yeah, now that they have added uh, Firefall, where uh, Bethesda themselves have given you the option to make your own house. I'm thinking I might do that. And I'm following in the footsteps of the great Sips. If you know who Sips is, uh, yeah, 
he is uh, one of the guys from um, uh, the Yorks cast crew, and uh, yeah, uh, one of their friends. Uh, so uh, yeah, he has made uh, I follow I follow him quite a lot. Uh, he's I am a big fan of Sips. Um, so yeah, he has made his own house, and uh, yeah, I just love the way he talks and stuff like that. <laughs> You big magnificent bastard. <laughs> yeah, and also calls his horse a big magnificent bitch. <laughs> I just love the way he talks and stuff like that. Whoa, be careful with that thing. Yeah, so uh, we are gonna try and go to Falkreath and uh, yeah, see if we can uh, get on the good graces of the um, Jarl there and be able to buy a house. But they uh, they come out and say ah, we don't have any houses in Falkreath, but we do have a plot of land. So that is what we are gonna do right after we have delivered this axe to this bastard uh, Daedric prince down here. Oh yeah, I was like, whoa! Did I take a wrong turn? Nope. This is the right way. Yeah, this is the right way, all right. Freaking spiders. I must admit, I wouldn't mind having a spider that big as a pet. I'm not afraid of spiders, not in the least. I, I even did had uh, had a pet tarantula at one time. Uh, her name was uh, Babs. <laughs> yeah, uh, man, she was one cute tarantula. Ah, you've got the axe and my dog. Splendid. We are back now. Fulfill your end Excellent of the bargain. work. A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost storybook. Huh. Ah, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. No deal, take the axe and take back Barbus. You're no fun at all. Guess I'll have to make my own fun elsewhere. And with the pup back, I'll be restored to my full power. There's a whole world just waiting for me! I knew I could trust you. Yeah, yeah, dog gets master, master gets cosmic axe. Everyone's happy. Just get over here, mutt. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make sure he sees the light. I trusted you, now you trust me. Ah, <laughs> oh, that feels so much better. You forget how nice supreme power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few years. It's a shame you wished for something so dull as me taking back the mutt. Quite the lack of imagination on your part. A lack of ambition like that really ought to be punished. Perhaps by turning you into a worm, or maybe a few decades of... Oh, fine. Have my bone and be done with it. Got more interesting deals to make anyway. <laughs> ah, Mosquitoes of the Vile. We got that th mask thingy. Ah, oh, Peel. Prices are 20% better, plus 10% speedcraft. And five uh, magical regeneration plus. Damn, this thing is ugly. Oh my god. 
this thing is ugly. And I'm gonna go back with this one. My overpowered headdress. Are you coming, Serana? We are gonna go have some fun. To Skyrim! Okay. Map unlock perks are earned by killing enemies with the Drain Life Spell or with the Bite Attack in melee mode. Each perk takes the more feeding, more feeding and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Rorik's Dead, Dragon Bridge, uh, Falkreath. Yeah, Falkreath. There we go. Fast travel to Falkreath. Ah, I almost sounded like Count Dracula right there. I'm going to suck your blood. That is not half bad. Maybe I should talk like Count Dracula the rest of the movie. Or story, the rest of the... Let's play here. Maybe we should suck the blood from the court right here. You now I sound like some bloody idiot. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Oh, the Jarl's log house. Long house. A hubba hubba burning a little bit. Hey, y'all, watch your face. Um. Yes. Y'all, sit gear. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. Does your person make you work difficult? How did you become Jarl while so young? My uncle Dengir was Jarl until a short time ago. His old age and failing health caught up with him, and he stepped down. Oh. He now serves us honorably as Thane, and to the great benefit of the hold, I now serve as Jarl. Hmm. Does your experience make your job difficult? Difficult? I'm a Jarl. I eat the most succulent meat, drink the finest ale, and hunt with the best hounds in the hold. Meanwhile, my very capable steward sees to the needs of the small folk and ensures that my hold runs smoothly. Being a Jarl could hardly be simpler. You should try it sometime. Hmm. I might just do that. Do you have any work? You've proven reliable. There's a group of bandits in my hold that I may have had a few discreet dealings with. The cut they were giving me was good at first, but now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. It'll be done. Good. Okay. Execute every last bandit. Spare no one. Yes, sir. Well, let me just talk to your steward here. I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. Uh, well, why is your... S so large? Many battles have been fought here over the centuries. Graves were dug and monuments built. A cemetery. The town grew around these. In time, Falkreath came to be known as the hero's graveyard. Many noble jarls and renowned warriors asked to be buried here. Mm. Falkreath's reputation has faded somewhat, but the graves remain, reminding us of the one inevitable truth of life. One day, we are six feet under. How long have you been a steward? It was Dengir who made me a steward, long ago when he was young. When Dengir's health began to fail, young Sidgir was appointed Jarl in his stead. It was simpler just to keep me a steward. Sidgir has no interest in running his hold, and so leaves such matters to me. As for my part, I do my best to see that folk are treated fairly. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Step back here a bit. Dengir, the new Jarl's father, made her steward when the father was young. How old are you? May wisdom forever light your path. Are you ready, Serana? So apparently I need to do some work for the Jarl first. Ow! Fucking hell. Okay. Uh, it shouldn't be that far off. Jane? Raising Dawn. Um, there we go. 
Oh, right up here. So let's fast travel to this one. The steel stone lets you uh, lets you carry more and not be slowed down by your armor. Very well. Let's get indoors or in a cave, anywhere, just out of this. Yep. How you doing, beautiful? I hear skeleton. Let us try and see if we can't do this completely stealthed. That they don't get wind of anything. This must be that beautiful weather I've always heard about. Ooh. It's an apprentice luck, my god. Ooh, flawless ruby. Uh, so far, so good. They haven't found me yet. Or haven't noticed. It is so fast and so fierce that the sword keeps staying in the air. Indeed. I must admit, they do have quite a cool little setup here. They have a smeltery, they have a furnace, they got all good manner of steel, and they got a mine here full of iron. Ooh, Octorium ore, of course. Ooh, this is an expert. Okay. That was a little bit too easy. Okay, maybe I'm a bit too overpowered.
nice. This is a good place to get Octorium ore. Or well, Orchid's ore, as it uh, commonly referred to. Okay. Back to uh, Falkreef Hole then. What are the Raven Spheres? That, that, what the Raven Sphere lacks in strength, it makes up for in speed and mobility. Hmm, okay. Oh, that's a good cup of chill. Hmm. I think everybody is going to bed at this hour. in here. Sorry to wake you up, y'all. Nah. Yes, what is it that you want? Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. You know what? I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Hotcha! Talk to my steward if you're interested. Uh, thank you. Is there anything you else uh, you need, my all? There is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my thane. It will be an honor. On your way, then. Come and see me again sometime. I might have some use for you. Will do, my thane. Come on, Tarana. Let's uh, leave the thane's quarters. What now? Ah. There we go. Uh, but we're gonna wait uh, till tomorrow to talk to the steward. Ah. Let's see. Isn't there an inn somewhere here? Oh yeah, right here. Dead man's drink, yeah. Perfect. Oh, did you need something? Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Your skin says snow. You scared of sunlight or something? Welcome. Mm, don't like those eyes you got. There's a bad hunger to them. Okay. Any they lesson? say Falian of Morthal has studied vampires, Draugr, and all matter of undead. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Don't need to. I already know it. It's uh, 12 a.m., so let's sleep for about six hours, shall we? Let me know if there's anything else you need. Thank you. You're awake, feeling well rested. Oh, there you are, you big bastard. Thanks for the. Uh... Point we should hire Tekla on here. If she could just spend less time serving Dengir. I can't even talk to him anymore. Hell! Okay, let's see. I don't think the guard is awake yet, but I do believe the steward is. Her needing to take care of the hole might just get her up early in the morning. And okay, the guard is awake. Okay, let's get up here. Let's see. Nope. Nope. Ah, there you are! You just awoke! Thank you. Uh, you. Sidgear can sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to Helvert and I. Okay. There's no house available, but I could sell you a fine piece of land where you could build your own house. Well, that would... that would be... only 5,000? You won't regret it. Here's the title to your steading. Thank you. 
Follow the road east from Fall Creek, then north at the crossroads. Turn left just past Pine Watch. Okay, I should be able to do that. May wisdom forever light your path. I protect the Jarl, whoever that might be. <laughs> okay. Uh, ah, would you stop that? Freaking fireball in the sky. I protect the y'all, whoever that might be. Um, I'm thinking that he is not. Uh, is that fur coming out of your ears? I'm a cashier, you moron. Um, wrong way. Got to ride through town. Oh, so sorry. Did I trample you down with my horse? Okay. Up through here. Then, you see that little house right there? That one right there. To the west, or north actually, right there. Oh, this is Pine Watch. Is he his pine watch? What kind of stone is that? Oh well. Hey! Look what we got here! Rich crap. Where'd you come from? Hmm. Poor stack. So, should be right around here, shouldn't it? Lakeview Manor. Whoa, what the? Locks? Where'd you come from? Teach you. Thanks. Log pile, 20 log piles. Cool. Nice. And there's that weird stone again. Stone quarry, cool. But how am I going to? Oh, it's nice! I didn't see this. Okay, cool. Um, why is that underneath the table? Beginner's Guide to Homesteading. The Beginner's Guide to Homesteading. If you are like most people who've always uh, burned of owning uh, or dreamed of owning your own stead, uh, steading and building your own home. Uh, but where to start? Never fear. You hold in your hands the guide to everything you need to know. Before long you will be Grabbing complete, uh, you'll be gapping completely across your well tended uh, lands from uh, the porch of your very own manor ho house. Okay, getting started. There are two very, uh, there are two vital pieces uh, of equipment that uh, 
the prospective uh, uh, homeowner needs the drafting table and the carpenter's workbench. Um, the drafting table is where you will lay out uh, the plans for each stage of your new house. Don't worry uh, about making a mistake here. You can always change your mind and make a new plans accordingly. Uh, uh, make uh, new plans cost you nothing. Remember, measure twice and cut once. Uh, your carpenter's workbench is where you'll uh, do the actual construction. Once you are set uh, on a plan at the drafting table, you can start building your house at the carpenter's workbench. Avoid the common beginner's mistake. Don't worry to uh, don't try to build the roof without building the proper support first. <laughs> space uh, space for family. Yeah. Um. If you have spouse or children, you'll certainly want to get the get the house in a living state as soon as possible. Okay, we're gonna wait a little bit with that, but we're gonna take the book. Uh, carpenter's workbench. Okay, this is a drafting table. Cool. Ooh, nice. Misk. Small house layout. Let's start with that because it's the only thing we can do. That is that is that, and then small house. Uh, Son Law Twenty House Foundation House Walls. I think the foundation is the first one you start with, then uh, wall framing, right? So I need. I have twenty Son Logs. I said I only need one. No. Yes, I only need one, and ten quartz stone, and then six sawn logs, which I have twenty, and then ten nails. Okay, quartz stone first. That was from here, right? Four, eight. I would suspect. Okay, she just continues. Okay, and then press E. Okay, cool. She just continue. Oh, poor little crabby. Oh, okay, cool. House foundations. Done. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, this is cool. What are you doing here, butterfly? Oh, this is so cool! <laughs> okay, uh, the next stop will be nails. I didn't have any of those, but I guess I'm probably gonna make them here on the building. Okay. And I don't have any iron ignit on me. Well, guess I'm gonna have to get that. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, uh, I got. Man, you got a nice ass, Serrano. Oh, let me just. Anything good? We're already carrying quite a lot of stuff. Oh, weapons. Driving bolt. Yeah, we need to get a hell of a lot more of those. Mm. Nope, it still does that with a shield. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Okay. Nails. Now we need eight nails and some. Oh, sweet. Okay. Do you need something? Yeah, you to move. Move that ass and those breasts of yours. Come on.
Oh, nice. I am can see the flooring there. Cool. Iron fittings, a lock, and two hinges. Oh my god. Oh, nice. Just gonna go a little bit away to have some run stop to. Oh, look at that. You got some neighbors over yonder. Okay. Two hinges, iron fittings, and a lock. Animal pen, garden. Now we can start doing some cool things. Ooh, we can even get a stable for uh, Nightmare. Okay, it is a full on house now because of the door. Oh, this is so cool! Lakeview Manor. Oh, this is sweet. I admit it is just, it's a bit small to start with, but yeah, what the hell? What? Uh, containers, barrels, dresses, and in tables, furniture, double bed, square table, and chairs, shelves. Oh, that's cool. Exterior, wall sconces. <laughs> Fireplace, hanging rack, let's, let's wait a little bit with that, because I am not done with this place just yet. Yeah, well, we got our first house, uh, set up and uh, yeah I'm overburdened as hell I don't know why and it's not because of uh, capsule lock has been on <laughs> it's not each day spent as a vampire oh. I didn't see what they meant so yeah thank you all so very much for watching and next time we will we will uh, try and add on to this house right here and catch on the flip side